Hello and welcome to a new episode of The VoIP Guys. Uh, I'm James. I'm Matthias. Okay. And today, well, we've got Matthias as usual. <laughs> as usual. Yeah. And um, today we've got a, a new topic for you. We're starting on Asterix. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a bit of an Asterix newbie. So I've got Matthias with me, who is the expert. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. So, Matthias, explain what is Asterix? Um, you can uh, think about two VoIP phones. Mm-hmm. Maybe you have an Aestra or uh, Yelink, or I don't yeah. know, some kind of VoIP phone. Um, and those two web phones want to talk to each other. Okay. Then what they need is a server. Yeah. You just need to register those voice over IP telephones to a kind of server, mm-hmm. which manages each question mm-hmm. of a telephone, each me- message of a telephone, and just connects the two telephones together. Okay. If telephone A wants to call telephone B, mm-hmm. then the server must say telephone A is in that office, telephone mm-hmm. B is in that office. So how can they talk to each other? Yeah. And he can manage yeah, the connection. So routes the calls. Yeah, route, yeah. route the calls. Yeah. Um, that's it. And there is a protocol mm-hmm. uh, to do that. The, this is the SIP protocol. Mm-hmm. I think everybody who um, is interested in Esther yeah. <laughs> should know what the SIP protocol is. Uh, not in detail, but yeah. he should. At least what it is. Yeah, yeah. he should uh, know what it is. And um, Asterisk can root that protocol. Okay. So um, we have to explain what is the difference to other SIP routers or mm-hmm. um, other um, um, Asterisk-like projects. Mm-hmm. Um, can you give us an example? Yeah, there is uh, something uh, which is called uh, Camellio, mm-hmm. for example. It, it's a very fast SIP uh, router. Mm-hmm. And uh, there are some other, um, like, uh, free switch and so on. Uh, The main advantage of Asterisk is Mm -hmm. the feature set. Okay. It has a huge feature set, Mm -hmm. and then it can do many things for you. Okay. Not only the routing uh, Mm -hmm. between the two phones, but it can also provide you a voicemail box. Okay. It can provide you a queue where the callers are waiting in Mm -hmm. and where they are queued and uh, dispatched to the different phones and so on. Okay. There is much functionality in Asterisk. So it's quite a, f- a feature-rich intelligence, like, call routing system yeah, of sorts. It, um, the main thing is it can replace um, a traditional PBX system okay. completely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, cool. So you can use Asterisk instead of your standard um, web, uh, not web system, your standard uh-huh. PBX. Yeah, your sort of PSTN P- uh, PBX mm-hmm. from, like, the landline. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So it has a really rich feature set. And this is the different uh, the difference to the other projects. Mm-hmm. Um, in some t- uh, sometimes they are much faster than Asterisk, and mm-hmm. are, there is a much better scaling. Mm-hmm. Um, like Camellio can handle um, thousands or ten thousands or hundred thousands of calls okay. in one instance. Yeah. But we don't need it. Yeah. Um, you need it in special cases. Yeah, more for l- large enterprise, whereas mm-hmm. Asterisk is more so large for enterprise or a session border controller yeah. or something like this. Mm-hmm. But in our case, and if you're new uh, to the voice over IP world, mm-hmm. an asterisk is a good choice. Okay. Because of its feature set. Okay. So, um, then I suppose it's about time to get started on how we actually set up mm-hmm. asterisks. So, um, take it away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are here at the asterisk.org um, homepage. The first thing we want to do is skip all the advertising <laughs> and just <laughs> click on, <laughs> on downloads. <laughs> Um, the first thing which may be a little bit confusing is uh, the versions of Asterisk right. and which version you should r- use in which case. Um, therefore, there's just one button. If you click there, you get some version of Asterisk, yeah. but um, there is also a special link, all Asterisk versions. Okay. And it, I think it's um, important uh, for our um, for us to understand uh, which versions are there, are out there, and which version to choose if you want to start with Asterisk. Okay. Which one would you recommend? Um, I would uh, recommend Asterisk 11. Okay. The mm-hmm. LTS version, mm-hmm. and not the certified one, but the LTS version. And this is the one you get if you just click on the download button. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But there are some other versions, and we have to understand why they are there mm-hmm. and which uh, to use in which case. Okay. Um, there is the Asterisk 12. This is under heavy development. Right. This is the, mm, you can call it, um, uh, where the Asterisk developers are playing in okay. and testing yeah. new features. And if the fe- features are good enough and if um, the community says they are working, mm-hmm. then they put it into the new beta version, okay. which will be the next 
um, LTS version, okay. a long-term support version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So currently, um, this is the long-term, uh, current long-term version is asterisk 11, okay. heavily development in asterisk 12, mm -hmm. and asterisk 13 will be the next LTS version. Okay, so we're sort of looking at the, the 12 being like the uh, development uh, program where it's not so stable, mm -hmm. uh, whereas the 11, which is the stable uh, mm -hmm. program. Okay. Yeah. And what's the difference between certified and just normal long-term support? Yeah, we can see it here. If you scroll down a little, um, you can have it as long-term support and as certified. Certified is even more stable than the LTS version. Okay. Uh, they just put bug fixes in there and they are very careful in what comes into the certified, certified version. This is a kind of um, uh, qu a quality release. Mm -hmm. So um, if you really want to go productive, yep. and if you really want to use a very stable version, then use the certified asterisk LTS okay. version. Uh -huh. um, in all other cases, if you want to try asterisk for the first time, uh -huh. um, use um, the asterisk 11 LTS version. Okay. And um, I would say the best approach is to download the source code, as we will do, uh -huh. and unpack it and compile it on your own. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you can use um, packages of your distribution, of your Linux distribution. Okay. If you're using Debian or if you're using Ubuntu, then there are some pre-compiled packages. All right. But they are not the newest. Mm -hmm. And if you have to change something in the source code, yeah. the, the magic of open source is that you can change the source code. So. Right. Yeah. Do it if you yeah, want if to, you can, if, you, if yeah. you can. Get a customizable solution for yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. So um, the way we will show you is uh, to download the source code okay. and compile the okay. source code. So. so where to start? We need the download link. I just copied it uh, to my clipboard. Mm -hmm. And then here I have a, a Ubuntu um, LTS version 14, mm -hmm. fresh installed. Okay. No modifications. I just um, selected SSL, uh, SSH um, installation okay. for the SSH server. Yep. But that's all I did. And I just connected via SSH mm -hmm. to my server. First thing I want to do is get root. I know Ubuntu guys don't like it if you get root, <laughs> but I really like it. And then I just download. Um, the source, as you can see, I just copied the link mm -hmm. and it points to the asterisk 11 current version. Okay. This is the first step we do. Okay. Um, but that's it for so far because yep. we need to unpack it now, yep. then we need to configure the source, then mm -hmm. we need to compile, yep. and this is too much for yeah, the first Yeah, that is far video. too much for one video, so we'll do that next time. Thanks very much for watching. If you want more information, please visit the Pascom website. Thanks See you so next time. Cheers. Goodbye.